The opening week of the NFL season presents its challenges when it comes to handicapping games. There's not a lot of data to go on. There's, uh, in most cases, a lot of personnel change from the years before. So what do I look at? Well, again, I've mentioned this before on college football betting angles and in my prior um, video on the Jacksonville and Miami game that I look at a lot of different things when it comes to uh, opening week, either point spreads or totals and how to handicap them. One of the things I look at is head-to-head -head matchups. Um, and if there are any trends in divisional head-to-head -head matchups, uh, such as the one I'm going to be looking at today, uh, which is the game between the uh, Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. And I found some significant data as it applies to that. I also have a very good uh, high probability NFL totals betting angle for uh, week one when it comes to home favorites in divisional matchups. And I'm going to get to those in just a second. Before I do uh, get to that, all those points and also my pick on that game, uh, I am going to have to remind you that if you have not hit the, the like button for me in the past or you have been right along, either way, I appreciate your viewing and I appreciate your support. But if you can kindly keep hitting that like button when you see me on these videos and it's just a small token of appreciation for the time, work and effort. I put into bringing you a quality free pick video each and every day. Uh, also, folks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Wager Talk TV. Um, and you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. And I say that with the utmost confidence, folks. I've been doing this for over 20 years, full time as a professional and in the public eye. And I can tell you unequivocally, uh, yes, I'm a little biased. But I am very confident when I say the cast, the characters we have at Wager Talk is second to none uh, on, on the Internet anywhere in the world. And uh, you could also click on your alert notification bell in your YouTube settings, and it will uh, notify you immediately uh, when any of our videos, in such as podcasts, free pick videos, or, or, or uh, educational videos going up on our great channel. So, all right. So don't forget, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have done so and you haven't hit that alert notification bell in your YouTube settings, uh, you need to do so. It provides a very nice convenience. All right. The matter at hand is the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. One o'clock Eastern time on Sunday. Right now, the Saints are a four-point favorite, and the total in this game is 41 and a half. I mentioned head-to-head -head matchups. Well, the last seven meetings between these teams have all gone under the, under the total. And the average total in those seven matchups, 41.3, and the average amount of points scored in each contest, 31.2 points combined scored per game. So not only have they been going under the total, the average total in those seven games are basically – the same as what we're seeing in the current total, which is 41 and a half, the average total being 41.3. And as you can see, those games have gone under the total by uh, 9.2 points per game. Uh, so uh, it's pertinent in my estimation. It makes a lot of sense and it's not coincidental, especially in light of the fact if you look at these two teams in recent years and what they got, uh, they present right now. As we look at them on paper, um, they neither one projects to be a high-scoring dynamic offense. New Orleans has gone under the total in six of their last seven division home games. And those games averaged a total of 35.4 points per game. And uh, the and it went under the total. Actually, with all seven results, uh, you're looking at an to uh, average total of 43.5 and, again, 35.4 points scored per game, which is over eight points uh, under the total on average. Carolina, six and one to the under in their last seven division games and all had a combined 39 points or less scored. That's uh, six of their last seven division games for the Carolina Panthers have gone under and none of them have reached a 40-point barrier in terms of combined score. As a matter of fact, those seven games averaged 
26.5 points per game, and the only over in that sequence produced just 39 points. So it went over the total in the high 30s. So, again, team trends, uh, head-to-head trends. And here's the other thing, okay? Um, I, I know a lot of you who've been familiar with me over the years know I put an emphasis on betting angles as well. And again, folks, not what I just described. What I just described is head-to-head trends and also team trends. Betting angles have to do with every team in the NFL in a particular or specific situations. So since the start of the 2021-2022 season, which again, this isn't a huge sample size, but over the last three seasons, uh, any game one division home favorite of minus two or greater like New Orleans is in this contest, those games have played 8-0 to the under, and there was an average combined score of 35.6 points scored per game, and those games went under the total by an average of 9.6 points per game. So a lot of supporting data here uh, that points toward a low-scoring game, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go with the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints under the total of 41.5. Folks, I'll have uh, anywhere from three to five picks up in the NFL. I have one for if you're viewing this in time, which is Thursday, September 5th. Um, I do have the winning total up tonight in the opening game of the NFL season between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. Just a friendly reminder, going back to last year, college football NFL combined totals uh, have gone 26 and 14 with my last 40, good for 64%. I was number two in uh, college football NFL combined last year at Wager Talk in terms of money earned. And uh, college football also going into week two and college football going back to September 9th of last year, a 64 and 45 run, which is good for 59 percent and a net profit of over thirty seven hundred dollars. In addition to uh, going 12 and six over the last 18 with my college football picks dating back to last year, you can get all of my daily picks as well as my subscription plans. NFL 529, college football 529, college football NFL combined 799. That's your best value. All annual package will take you right through the college football championship game and the NFL Super Bowl. Uh, Until the next time, for Ross Benjamin, take care and God bless, folks.